Ladies and gentlemen, our semi main event for the Australian Light Heavyweight Championship over eight rounds. Introducing the challenger in the blue corner from Brisbane, Queensland, Baldwin Samoa, scaling 76 kilos, Nick Tomomasi in the blue corner. Introducing in the red corner, trained by Paul Fivell, eight contests, eight wins, second fight on the comeback trail. Australian light heavyweight champion, scaling 77 kilos, Tessius Well, this is going to be a good fight, Bob Jones. Uh, interesting to hear what uh, Bridget said before. Nick, the strength is in his leg kicking. And, of course, Tarsus Pedridis. He has the belt in his corner at the moment. We're about to find out whether or not he can keep that belt in his corner. The Australian light heavyweight title. He seems to have a height advantage over the boy from Brisbane. But uh, the Samoan boy has had three Muay Thai fights. So he should not have any trouble with the leg kicks. And this is Tass's first fight. So that could be a plus where he's losing a bit of height advantage because he's uh, much shorter and stockier than Tassus Petridis, but he has got advantage of uh, three Muay Thai fights under his belt. I think the size of Nick's legs too. I mean, there's, there's a bit of weight behind those legs. If he knows how to use them, they can do a lot of damage even with that added weight when he starts throwing those leg kicks. All right, out of the blue corner, we have uh, from Queensland, Dr. Thomas Tumasai, and out of the red corner, Tarsus Pedridis. Tarsus is wasting no time getting in there. Very aggressive beginning. Oh, landed some nice punching combinations. And Tarsus is definitely here to fight. He's certainly taking it all the way this time, isn't he? I was talking to Tarsus earlier, he said he feels in great condition, he really feels very fit, feels very confident, even with the leg kicks. He's unloaded a big right hand there, Bob and Nick. Well, this was Tarsus' problem in his early days, he was a lackadaisical trainer, but uh, if he gets really serious about his training, he's got a lot of talent. Nick holding the leg, of course, which is not in the rule book. The referee just warning him about that. Maybe once again, he's experiencing tie fighting, because they are allowed to hold the leg of the tie rule, so... Uh, a little bit hard to just switch straight across the switch different rules. Switch across. on reflex. I think Tarsus Tars is very much uh, taking command of this fight in the first round anyway. As Bob pointed out before, his height and reach advantage at the moment is the telling factor. Notice Tarsus is bringing a knee in there. I'm sure it wasn't meant, but that's the thing when you're in close trying to use that shin. It's not that uh, difficult to sort of slip a knee through. Oh, he's scoring now well with his hands. Scoring very nicely. He's going, he's going up and down stairs very nicely. He's using the legs with the hands. Yep. I don't think Nick's really got an answer to Tarsus just looking at the beginnings of this round. Nick's already favouring that, but that right leg too, his rear leg. Oh, Tarsus again, still very much in control. Scoring there with a spinning back kick and coming through the front kick and then a leg kick, overhand right. He's scoring quite easily with just about anything. Schedule a rounder. Yeah, and, uh, the crowd really warming to that performance here by the two boys, the treatise and Tumasai. Bob Jones, how did you see round one? I think uh, round one would have to we go probably at least 29 in, maybe 28 in for Tassis. I think he took very good control of that round. Yeah, I think without a doubt. He was scoring hands and feet. Nick didn't seem to have any answers to much of it. Because Brisbane hasn't had a good night with uh, the other boy getting knocked out in the earlier fight. But uh, Mick Waterton is a very experienced trainer, so he may uh, get a strategy going on the result of that first round. We'll see what happens in the round two. Oh, Tass is going excellent with that right leg leg kick. Oh, he's going well. Tass is just going so well. Straight upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Going off those low kicks to the leg and straight into the face. Both left and right fists. Nick throwing a few wild ones there. Oh, there he goes, a looping right hand. Still not doing much damage, though. I think the range is giving him a lot of trouble. He's, he's getting in, but he's still having trouble because Tassus fights well in close anyway. See, as you said, that, that right leg kick followed off on that left and right hand combination. Oh, beautiful combination. Nick's in a lot of trouble now already. 
toss the scoring continuously. Big in trouble, trying to hang on now to get him out of trouble. Passes now should be working, those leg kicks low as well with the hands, and he'd really be finishing it off. Getting a bit too close, here. Yeah. Three or four punches back out like he's done then. Yeah, exactly, and follow up with that right leg kick. Tuss is checking quite well too, isn't he? He's almost very reflective with that leg check yes, off the left leg. Every time Nick tries a good strong kick, Tassis is just picking up with a good leg check. This is a much better fight from Tarsus Petridis from when we last saw him at Festival Hall. As uh, you said before, Richard, it's been a while since he's probably been into the ring. I think uh, I think the leg kicks are going to suit Tarsus. He's had a way he's working well. now. Very impressive so far. Paul Firefield, of course, has been working Tarsus very hard on the leg kicks uh, down to the old South Melbourne gym there, and it's obviously paying off. Warner yelling at the passes to just keep his hands up and keep jabbing. Oh, I think that's it. I think you'll find that's the end of this there. No, that's it. Pass is retreated. Well, the Victorian taking the Australian night heavyweight title over the Queenslander. Nick Tomasai. And uh, you can see uh, Tarsus Petridis' corner ecstatic. Totally in control, Tarsus. You well-deserved win there. There's no question of it right from round one. Nick's still on the canvas there. We're seeing a rematch, a replay here. There's a leg check, Tarsus oh, Petridis' leg check. That right hand. I think that initial right hand before he actually clinched with him is what did the damage there. All right, we'll wait on Howard Lee. Has, has a chat with our, uh, our champion. Uh, he went down pretty hard for the finish. Yeah, he did, actually. Did he cause you any trouble in the first round? No, he caught me with a left hook, actually. Worried me a bit, but I've got to cop a few, give a few out, so... You want Christopher Cronus to bring in some hot property for you? That's right. I'd like to thank Chris, my sponsors, all my sponsors, thank you, my management, trainers, and everybody come and see me. Thank you very much.